lots of reasons to believe in a dog food brand. Great nutrition, great price, and your dogs love the taste. But what if it's also made for Caribbean dogs? No artificial colors or flavors, with an eye on the environment, so we only use paper bags. Then you will be just as happy as your dog, truly. It's true, we love dogs. Welcome to Purebred Dogs JA. This is Tarzan. Yes, you guessed it. We're at Soja Pop Kennels here in Anchovy St. James. Let's go. Welcome to another episode of Purebred Dogs GE. Today we are here at Soja Pop Kennels with Kevron Ellis. You know, thank you for having us, Kevron. Yes, man, no problem, hey, bro. Kennel. Yes. Um, but you are in this militant, you know, suit. Yes. You know, persons who don't want to know if you are a soldier. Well, I'm not the soldier, you know. My dogs are. So, so is there a meaning behind it? Yes, because I see German shepherds as working dog, and I see them as going out working with the military yeah that's where um, my main focus and look why, at yes and why soldier pop kennels yes okay you're a dog lover yes oh, so what would have inspired you to, 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 to you know become a breeder well what inspired me you know, is because of the german shepherds here because mostly german shepherds i breed i breed rottweilers mm -hmm. because of the quality here i always want to improve on quality yeah. want to improve on the working ability of the dogs especially with the german shepherds okay yes okay. so that kind of pushed me to go into the german shepherds and the working line german shepherds okay so so your main focus is on german shepherds but you have other breeds yes as well yes okay all right you are also a, a trainer, a yes. very talented one. You Thank know, I you. Must say, I've seen you know your your videos on yes. Instagram and so forth. Okay. Um, oh, how did that journey start? Well, the journey as a trainer started quite. When I was quite young, growing up as a kid, used mm -hmm. to do some training, the sit down, all those basic. Watch Caesar Milan, learn a lot from that. Always watching. Every chance I get, I'm watching a clip or something that can teach me and build my knowledge and uh, and then once I leave high school I decide you know first I start working with Blackwood Canine Rentals mm -hmm. that's when I get a lot of um, the exposure. The exposure a guy here named um, David came and was training dogs in Jamaica okay. I went out with him I was like the water boy bringing yeah. the water for him anything he wants that's that that While used to be the, the, yes the, the so trade. that's where I get most of the knowledge just being there okay yes it, it, it is funny enough that you know you have so many young boys who are interested to become trainers but there is not really a a platform for them to to, 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 to craft that skill really yeah like, there's not a school for it you know and we would have, i think prior to this interview uh -huh. we would have discussed something similar are there any plans from the trainers to have such thing done well yes me unique kennel junior senior also a trainer mm -hmm. we're working together in getting um people um certified we we have that in um planning mm -hmm. so we're planning to execute that very soon yeah. where we can get more people involved in that um the, the event coming up will be about building people knowledge getting people more involved young people wants to know and get the, get them involved in the training what event is that oh that's an event coming up on july 24th uh -huh. at pineapple beach st james yes where we'll be having um dog link up and working dog trial people uh -huh. can come out show what their dogs can do and i'll be there to assist mm -hmm. other trainers will be there to assist in building the knowledge so it's like getting people involved in with their dogs so it's really like a line while educating person yes it's about okay. the education okay all right so kevron are there any challenges uh -huh. that you know 
as a breeder, you face with, with, with you know, raising the dogs? Yes, well, the main challenge is parvo, which you have to just make sure that your dog is kept in a clean area. Always clean up after them. A lot of 24 hour work. With the puppies? Yes, with puppies. And with um, selling the puppies also. That's one of the challenges. Yes, that's the challenge, to getting them out to good homes. Mm -hmm. So, because once a puppy passes like three, four months, that puppy is staying with me. Oh. Yes, because I build a bond with that puppy and that puppy just stays. Okay. Yes, and okay. if I don't find good home for dogs, I have paid back money to get back dog twice the amount to get back the dogs that have sold to people if I see that the dogs are not Is in that good the hands. Care? Yes. So in a sense you would have screened yes. the buyer. Yes, but you know, even when screening the buyer here, they can tell you anything and this and that and it yeah. just because just like a regular, you know, job interview yes. somebody come and you tell them mm -hmm. you know, what they need to hear just to get yes. the job. Yes, just to get it. it and put it into practice yes okay well that is good and, and i think because you know we have puppy millers and yes we, for persons you know in our last interview we would have mentioned it as well that you have too many persons deciding that okay and call themselves breeders uh -huh. which we want to kind of eliminate because it is not good for the, the various breeds yes you know, you just see dogs just keep having puppies. Yes. So it's kind of good that you know you, 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 you filter in terms of how you, you yes. get the puppies and yes. so forth, and they're in good homes. Because yes. we don't want to, you know, breed a dog, you produce quality puppies, and then you cannot recognize that dog. True. Yes, man. So that that now um with um with a lot of breeders. There are, there are good breeders out there. There are some also that I try educating and some are, are listening. Mm -hmm. A lot of I've um, taken under my wings and educate them on breeding quality. Mm -hmm. I always push people to cut out with the, um, the low quality and start always try improve. Every mating you yeah. do, you always try to improve. What are, as, I, as I mentioned, improve the breed. What, so how do you go about to improve the breed? you know, the breed. Just give an example. How you go about. So when you bring two dogs together, what is it that you're looking for? Alright, so you look on some faults that a dog may have a fault here, be weaker in this point, be stronger in this point. You choose a dog that's strong in this point that can complement. And then once you see the dogs they complement each other, mm -hmm. then that's when you do the mating. Breed dog with strong nerves and working ability, great working ability. Yeah, I, I realize you are very high on working line dogs. Yes. One of the things that I wanted to ask you, <clears throat> as having, you know, somebody who focus on working line, you have long coat shepherds. Yes, right? I do. But long coat shepherds, one of the, they're not recognized really as, well, they're not recognized for dog shows in Jamaica. Right? Yes. So while they are registered, they're uh -huh. not recognized for shows. All right, well. Right? Uh -huh. But one of the things is that one of the things, because I have had conversation, and one of the things person mentioned when I ask, uh -huh. why is it that they are not, um, you know, recognized? And oh. it was said that these dogs, so they are working line dogs, but yeah, one of the things we need to understand is that working line dogs, if you have to go through waters and so forth like uh -huh. that, the dog coat will get heavy. Yes. You know, so, so that from a logical, that, that sounds uh -huh. a little bit logical. Yes. So I want to know what are your thoughts on that? All right. My Someone thoughts. Who is big on working line. Yes. My thoughts on the, the long coat, you'll find that as a, as a problem with, um, with the coat getting heavy and so on. And the heat and so on here in Jamaica. But you know, the majority of people here in Jamaica have their dogs and they have their dogs on their yard. A lot of people just have their dogs in their house. Mm -hmm. So no one is really going in the fields with their dogs, going out there where they, the dogs are exposed yeah. to those elements. Okay, but if, 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 if it comes to that, then there will be an issue? Well, not really. It, will, it, will, <coughs> it can hinder the dog in some way, but it's in a very light way. Because I have, um, I have long coat dogs mm -hmm. and they do everything i don't find no problem with them i just give the coat a brush once once a day or, or so on and good to go okay even so just to stay on that a little bit the, the last german shepherd show uh -huh. when we spoke with the judge you know one of the things that the judge mentioned is that 
because persons did enter with their language yes. You know, I think Including, virus. Yes, yeah, virus, virus did enter yes. as well. Um, what was that like for him? Well, it's a the, the, the shows the they they are good to build on the dogs mm -hmm. in their being a more um, friendly towards people and the exposure and all to the dogs. But with them, with the long coat now, you lose points. People can still enter their dogs so in the. So should have lost points. Yes, he lose points. One of the things I, I, I remember uh -huh. is that the judge would have, you know, tried to encourage to have a specific uh -huh. um, category for for for, for, yes. for the long coat. Yes. SV recognized them. Yeah, yeah. Well, and um, you know, so it's something that I said, you know. I think I wanted to, to find out, you know, from uh -huh. persons with long coat shepherds. All right. Well, the, the I saw quite a few on the day. Yes, there's yeah. a few, there's a lot of long coat German shepherds here. A lot. Some just don't go to the shows because they get criticism because okay. of the coat. But a lot of long coats here. Are there any plans to to speak with the German Shepherd Club or the, even the Kennel Club to get um, you know a category? Yes, yes. That that is in the, um, the making right now. We have been in um, Zoom meetings discussing yeah. it and all. So all we have to do now is just send in a letter yeah. to the German Shepherd Club of Jamaica and just let them know that we um, would like to have the long coat having their own category in the shows. And once it's signed off and we have enough votes from the members on it that yeah. says yes, then it just goes to the Kennel Club and then we have a section for the long coat. Okay, okay. All right, so you would have imported dogs. Yes. To the country. Uh -huh. right? um, I want you to explain to our viewers, you know, uh -huh. your experience of that process. If you can take us through in terms of from the moment you identify the dog, uh -huh. you know, up until receiving that dog. Okay. So it's a very lengthy and stressful process. <laughs> Trust me, sleepless nights. <laughs> yeah. But it's the reward after is very good so first you have to get a rabies test on the dog have to be nine months to come in the um the country first no, yeah i wanted to tell us like when you identify the dog you make contact with the breed yes all right so we make contact with the, the seller of the dog we make sure that the dog and first you have to do a lot of research to make sure if you have connections you have to get some connections to make sure that you're not what do you mean? Meaning, you have to link people with people. Like if someone knows someone in that country that okay. can connect you with that person, because you can send your money over there and you don't see it. Yeah. So that's something that you definitely have to look out for. Yeah. Yes. And you get the, the breeder, talk to the breeder, make sure that they're up for, doing, for going with the process, which take three months yeah. from you identify the dog, take three months for the dog to reach in the island. So we don't take the dogs here in the country until nine months, right? Yes. And a lot of so you buy the dogs at nine months old? No, most of my dog, well, dogs that come in here, they're mostly some one year old, some two year old. So, so you would have to buy the dogs at a particular age. So, so yes. for instance, a breeder said, okay, we're selling the dogs at eight weeks old. Yes. Okay. Well, you'll have to find. You'll have to pay for that breeder to. Mm grow that dog until the dog is six months old. You have to pay for um, boarding and all until six months old and then you can start the process. Oh, so yeah. did you find yourself in a situation like that or no. you get the dog? No, yes, I get, I get all, all the dogs. Okay, okay, so once you get the dog from the breeder and the breeder ships off the dog, what is, what is the next step here? All right. In Jamaica. All right, well, after you get the you you pay for the dog from the breeder, you have to do the rabies test. Yeah. If rabies test come back good, uh -huh. then rabies test will be like back in like about one month. Okay. So you know in two months after, then you can start. One month before the dog come in, you have to do a series of tests. Okay. And yes, that's where you really do a lot of a lot of spending there under okay. under those, those tests. Okay. And then once you get all those tests and the results come back good uh -huh. in that one one month period, mm -hmm. the last month then the dog can be shipped here. Once every document is in order, you just go to the air, to the um, airport and pick up your dog, bring home back your dog. All right, so when you pick up a, a yes. one-year-old dog, yes. per se, are there any challenges? Is the dog aggressive? A lot of people don't want to know, because I get a big dog and uh -huh. you know this dog seems so intimidating. Yeah. Because you wouldn't have had a bond with the dog. Yes, true. So. <laughs> I know you're a trainer, but for the regular person, 
how would they like <laughs> you know integrate with that dog? Mm. It's well, family. I see it as once you know the dog and what the, what the breeder tell you about the dog, if you know that it's going to be a dog with a challenge, you have to bring someone who have it more experience yeah. to help you to get that dog adjusted over to you. Because when um, Blade came in, he was behaving wicked. No one could touch him, vet could not touch him, no one could touch yeah. him. And I go there and I, I talk to him, I call his name and after that he starts listening to his name and within 10 minutes he's out in my hand. Oh, yeah? Yes. <laughs> so, so that's how that, and that is the temperament I'm talking about. Yes. You know, because these dogs would have to interact with several persons before they actually yes. interact with Yes, and the flight takes a lot, take a very big toll on them, especially from England, 13 hours coming to Jamaica. Uh -huh. So it's stressful on yes. the dogs? Yes, yes, okay. very stressful. Okay. No, we're going to be, you know, treated to some of the dogs here at Soja Pop Kennels. Kevin is going to introduce the dogs to us. Let's go. All right, so this here is Virus. He's one of my German Shepherd here at Soldier Pop Kennels. He's a long coat German Shepherd. He's a mixture of working line and show line. His mother is a show line German Shepherd. Father is a Czech working line German Shepherd. Nice drive, nice temperament. We have been in the school with this boy, teaching, educating kids, and not being so afraid of dogs. The, the reason why I choose um, the name Virus because he was born in COVID time. He's two years old now, born in COVID time, so the name just popped in the head. We have one named COVID also, but it's with another, um, it's at his new home. She's at her new home. All right, so this here is Azra. She's the new import and she came in yesterday. So I'm just now building a bond with her. She's a nice stock coat, meaning short coat, German Shepherd, all black, ready stud, check line, working line. Yes. She's three years old. All right, so this here is Tarzan. He's um, the brother of Virus. Um, working line father and show line mother. He have a nice, um, blanket back the pattern of the coat is called the blanket back and um he's little over two years old just two years old about two months ago yes yeah, so he's one of our dogs here he's a very chill dog he have a very good on and off switch so once he, it's time to work he's ready once it's time for play friend family he's good like that okay so this here is bessie it's a uh, black and red saddleback and she is my one of my show line dogs. Very good temperament, very nice drive, and just love the ball. So this is Bessie. She's um about 16 months old now. This year now is Uno. He's one of the foundation male. He's bred by Mark Azan. Yeah, he's a nice long coat male German Shepherd, the father of Bessie. And have a very sweet temperament most of the times. All right, so this is my Rottweiler here, Perla, bred by Burnville Kennel. A very sweet girl, great temperament, and because she's the only Rottweiler, she make up for it with her personality and the love that she brings. Yes. How is it that you get all these dogs come together like this? Well, uh, no fighting. No. Well, you start off with one balanced dog, two balanced dogs. You keep adding balanced dog, balanced dog together. Exercise balance out dogs. So uh -huh. it's very good to exercise your dog. Yes. That cut out a lot of behavioral problems. Okay. Yes. So, so, so one of the things that for viewers. When it's mentioned balanced dog, what is a balanced dog? A balanced dog is a dog that's very calm, uh -huh. can be, when it's time to do something, they're ready to do it. Yeah. When it's time to relax, they're ready to do it. 
take command well, as in listening to you. Yeah. Yes. Not all these dogs belong to you? No. Alright, some of them are borders. Yes, so, we have so, a lot of borders. So we incorporate the borders with your dogs? Well, when borders come here, I don't even have to do much. Really? Borders come here aggressive. My dogs, they're already balanced. They balance out everyone. Yeah? Yes. So is that case where you had interactions before? With no, them? no interactions. Just they just come. My dogs are balanced. I just release all of them together uh -huh. and my dogs just do the work. Oh, <laughs> okay. So it's that socializing. Yes. Dogs are pack animals. So the pack, being a part of the pack, mm -hmm. they, they know that hierarchy. If um, a dog is at the top here, yeah. they know to just work with the dog at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the dog at the top work with me. So everyone just relax and just work with it. So, how oh, is it that we are here around them? And yes. None of the dogs, you know, seem to attack me. Yes. It's an Instagram thing. Yes. Not seeing that they are violent dogs, but they are working dogs. Yes. As we see. Yes. So how is it that you know we can come here, with my the camera person, yes, myself, and just walk with the dogs like this? Okay. Well, as I said, it's all based on the balance of the dog. Mm -hmm. You have people coming, interacting with your dog, petting your dog. And they just automatically know that once you say friends, yeah. then this person is a friend, yeah. so they just work with it. Dogs are very smart, you just have to know how to figure them out. Okay. Alright viewers, so now Kevran will do a special demonstration for us. It's a search, right? Yes, a search. A search. So just before, we're going to ask, um, where can you be located? Alright, I'm located in St. James, Wilshire and Chovy. Um, and you can find me also on Instagram, Soldier Pop Kennels, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Google. I'm everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So some of the services you offer. I know yes. you do the, the, um, the training. Yes. I do training, boarding, mm -hmm. and board and train. And the training and is anything specific or? It's basic obedience, but it's based on what you want. If you want, if you do, your dog have basic obedience already, mm -hmm. we can give protection training, which will teach you to, to teach your dog to attack on command, stop on command, protect the homes. So, what so about behavior modification? Yes, we do behavior modification. We go to your home and we work on the dog. Some yeah. dogs, you just send them to us and we fix the problems. Okay. All right. So now you want to tell us what, the, what exactly will the dog be searching for? Okay, so right now, the dog will be searching for you. <laughs> so is that the case where you might search for you? No, not attack. Okay. It's going to be Stop friendly, fine. just just to find you. Just track yeah. your scent, uh -huh. see wherever you have been, you're, you have been yeah. and just find you wherever you are. Alright, let's go. Alright guys, you know we can't um, visit a trainer and don't catch a bite. So, what is this? This is the bite suit. The bite suit? Yes. Alright. You. you can feel the power of a dog without being fully mauled or destroyed. Fully mauled? Yes. Really, alright. No, <laughs> but alright. So, so, he's not gonna like, throw me a ground or anything like that. He can. No, we don't want to hear that. <laughs> so we want to hear it. So we just want a regular bite. Alright, if if in alright, if you bite a regular, mm -hmm. you can go push it over. In that powerful? Mm -hmm. So Alright, let me tell you, the CF is weird. Where you can you can catch him mm -hmm. without getting too much damage. Move off, pull your hand out, and go grab your hand. Then you grab your hand and go, go spin around, 
catches a grip and can't and control. Okay. Alright, we can try to process that. Alright. Let, let, let's try it. So hold on. So what if you grab off your head? Oh man, I'm grab off your head. <laughs> Feel good. You can walk. You can hardly move. All right. So, oh, 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 we're gonna position ourselves now. All right. Well, this is a bite here now. Yeah, go, go forward. Uh -huh. yeah, go. Lift the hand. Okay, you're gonna lift the hand and go grab the leg. Jesus Christ. Lift the hand and can grab the back. No, we don't want to grab the back. We want to grab the hand. Lift the hand and go grab the hand. Keep your balance on this leg. Spin. Come around with the dog. So, which hand must keep out? Which one? You can, you can use which hand you feel. Oh, you comfortable which one? Yes. Okay, so. So, when you grab, you will feel the pressure. Swing with the dog. Okay. You don't want to stop the dog. You don't want to swing with the dog. Yeah. Lucky man. Lucky him up. Lucky him up. Lucky him up. Finish! Out! Sit! You want him out? I need him out right now. Clear! Out! Finish! As we close the show, we'd like to thank our sponsors. True. Hold on, let me sketch my breath. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Remember to follow us on our social media platform at Purebred Dogs JA and follow us on YouTube and subscribe to our channel at Purebred Dogs JA. Until next time, I'm out. <laughs>